the host of the upcoming um, Crimes of the Century, People's Choice Awards Weekend in Charlotte, North Carolina. He was also one of the co-hosts for the New York Awards Ball that just passed in New York City last weekend. Um, so, Marcus, Marcus why don't you my phone? My huh? man, I was calling you from, I had two devices riding. No, you can go ahead. You, I you, do you, too, you, but you were calling. You, I right. too, Marcus. You were calling the one that right. I was on. Right, Rodney. Right, Rodney. Right. Two devices. Yeah. Two devices. yeah. yeah. Well, he, he, right. he has and two Android. One but... does not count as a second device. <laughs> I have uh -oh. two devices. Oh, okay. He has a mode, He has a he has a Nokia um i i with i six ten from two thousand and four. <laughs> I have Hello. I'm Arnold. Arnold. Uh, yeah. At the end of the day, I have two devices. <laughs> <laughs> He got a <laughs> he got a Samsung Galaxy Four with a Ring Central number on it. Uh, <laughs> but well, at least mine gonna wait, continue wait, wait, to wait, wait. work. Marcus, 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 hold on, Marcus. Before you get started, hi James, are you okay? We heard you were being sold off to the highest bidder. Are you all right? We see you in the comments there. Marco was trying to sell you off. Okay. Good evening, friend. <laughs> How are you? All right. Um, you ready, oh, Harold? Uh, I mean, we we can do this. We're ready. We take two. Yes, we're ready. Okay. Thank you. Hello, everyone. We're excited about the 2022 Ballroom People's Choice Awards taking place in Charlotte, North Carolina at QC Soundstage. Um, we're having two events with well, two balls that weekend. Um, the first night, well, I guess I'll start with Friday. Friday, um, Destiny Productions is hosting a sneaker ball. This is not like a regular ball. This is like a a party where you can wear, you know, dress semi-formal with your fabulous pair of sneakers is at Black Box Theater. Um, that's going to be really exciting and fun. That's from 10 to 2 or 10 to 2.30. Um, I have partnered with them to offer uh, 40 free tickets. Uh, we're having a community engagement program from 7 to 9 um, that evening to kind of show the new safe space that the community requested in December. Rodney, remember that meeting? We had at the hotel in December where we asked for a safe space. One of our local um, right. community partners were able to get a space for us. So we're hosting that there. Um, and it's actually going okay. to be their grand opening. So if you come to that, you'll get a free ticket to go to the sneaker ball on that Friday. On Saturday, okay. we have um, Send me that again, Marcus, because I have to put it in my group. To get into the party, into the sneaker ball. Mm -hmm. You yeah. talk about the sneaker ball? Okay. Yeah, we'll do. Okay. Uh -huh. You can get Give sex and all that stuff. All that stuff. I'll do that. Perfect. Then on Saturday, we have Crimes of the Century 2, where over $20,000 will be awarded. We will be crowning another, well, I guess the first $5,000 drags performance winner, but, you know, technically it's the second because when Ginger won, she was a drag. So, um, but yeah, the first $5,000 drags performance category winner and the second $5,000 solo best dress winner. Uh, we have a $1,000 female figure versus Butch Queen European Runway, a $1,000 schoolboy realness, a $1,000 open 12 volts and performance, a $1,000 women's face, a $1,000 film queen sex siren, along with um, a new added thousand dollar category just from last week open to all body for one thousand dollars um then on sunday we have double jeopardy where we'll be crowning i guess the second five thousand dollar open to all realness winner involvement well the first oh, first five thousand dollar open to all realness winner but the second you know five thousand dollar winner after pampers um, so that's that night. We're giving away 10K on Sunday. Um, I can 
answer your questions if you like. Okay, so what are the parameters around the um, the five thousand um, dollar uh, the fi the five thousand dollar drag category? Okay, so drag performance you bust first. There are no first time up in drags allowed. You must have done or drags performance before at some point at a ball. So if you you haven't walked it yet. You better walk it. You got two weeks or three weeks. Um, I'm expecting you in drags, you know. So I don't want no beer covering. Ass. Yeah, I don't want. I want up in drags. It's for five thousand um, dollars. You have to be in black hair, black lipstick, black heel or boot in a 1940s inspired effect and you must incorporate a corset the category is inspired by the black dahlia of course she was cut in half um in lamert park area of california so we want you cinched at the waist in a corset i know it's difficult to vogue in a corset so you might want to practice that's the gist of the category oh that remind me of getting in drag in 13 minutes go ahead marcus you always in a drag queen do something Okay. All right. How about uh, further clarification on the five thousand dollar best dress? Okay, so best dress is inspired by the bling ring, and these were a group of people that broke in um, celebrities' homes while they were away to steal, you know, for the thrill of it all. Um, you're basically the unindicted uh, co-conspirator of the bling ring. So we're asking you to put together a cohesive, best dressed look, basically looking like it came from all of these celebrity closets. Um, you should look like money. You should have a, a unbothered, unapologetic attitude. And above all, it should look like it came from a celebrity. It does not have to be labeled because celebrities don't wear all labels. So it's not a labels category. That's up to you, but it should look like money. That's the first thing that popped up in my head. Labels? No, like looking like a celebrity, like something a celebrity will wear. Correct. So you're fashion conscious, unindicted, um, so unapologetic, and you really know what you're doing. So the, the look should be well thought out, well put together, um, and it's for $5,000 for a trophy, male figure, female figure, legendary best dress for people who are been acknowledged as legend for best dress and then gender non-conforming the final four will battle for the five thousand um okay. uh, arnold does that cover all the questions yeah I, I i knew i knew what it gave i just wanted him to make sure everybody else knew what it gave okay come from behind the big, um schoolboy i got a lot of questions about the schoolboy category is ripped built around rick this singer which and night it's first night night one thousand dollar schoolboy realness it's built around um, the college admission scandal i don't know if you guys know about all the you know the different ways people got into these you know universities they kind of snuck their way or cheated their way into the university we ask you to bring you know that to life in some form um, there's various ways that people, you know, snook their way into universities, research and bring one of those to life. You can do a production. You can do a production for any $1,000 category. Um, those productions must be 90 seconds or less. Preferably 60 seconds or less, but 90 seconds or less. And, um, you know, let's have fun. That's the category. All right. Um, the next night you have the five thousand um, dollar realness. In order to get their tens, what must they do? Okay, for open tall realness, we're, we're reporting to jury duty, and you have to come up with a clever reason why you should be excused from jury duty. 
um, you know, so we want to see something creative um, and unique um, as much as possible, you know, but we want to see you so, bring that to life. So are they coming yeah. with, like, with a creative excuse or are, are they coming with, like, is it up like, to the judge to figure out if it's creative or not? Well, it's for five thousand. Everything in ballroom is left up to the judge, whether it's creative or not. Ultimately, the your idea you're coming up. The category is realness, but you need a creative excuse. But ultimately, you're not. If you get your tens, you won't be excused from jury duty. So that's kind of the gist of it. But you're coming up with something clever of why you feel as though you should be excused from jury duty. But ultimately, it's up to the judge if you're, you know, released or not. Only really bad ideas, people who are not creative or not real, will be chopped or eliminated and excused from jury duty. Does that make sense? I'm allergic to the government. Well, I don't know how you're going to portray that, but I mean, go ahead. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, all right. Are there any other categories that are that have been ringing your line or, or your inbox? Mm, okay. Open to all votes from performance the first night, which is basically the performance category for everybody except drag or legend. Um, it's calling for a Bollywood inspired effect. So, you know, think Indian, you know, Middle Eastern, um, you know, Jasmine, Aladdin, any of those types of things will work. Belly dancers, all of that is totally acceptable. Um, you know, you can Google Bollywood and uh, come up with some inspiration. Um, Quality. What else? What's up, Drew? Um, to our body. Oh. Category is going to take some creativity, so you probably shouldn't wait till like the day of. Also, this is in November. Um, this is two weeks after Halloween, so Party City will have started putting away a lot of the stuff that you see in the store. So don't go in there for Halloween and like, oh yeah, they got this. I'm gonna come back and get this because half that stuff's gonna be going out of Party City. So you might wanna um, make sure you. Well, are wait a minute, that. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> if you're getting something from Party City, this is probably not the ball for you. No shame. Okay. So I'm raising the ball. Okay. <laughs> Marcus, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, well, I'm just, I don't want them to waste their money on Party City stuff. If you're not getting something, if you're not raising the level just of what you're bringing, through. Just, just come up. Um, I don't know if you know, but since People's Choice, we've always used a letter grading scoring system, and those C's and D's can look really nasty. So you're being judged on a scale, and the judges are going to tell you exactly what they think about you. So it won't be just perfect tens unless you're really that city or you're really doing that great of a job. So, um, you know, mm. you don't, it, 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 you know, make, do your big one, your biggest one. Then that Sunday, I'm really excited <laughs> to announce that Sunday we are having the Millennials Brunch sponsored, um, presented by Gilead. Um, this is a, a ongoing effort to bring the community together and really start conversation. So um, we are inviting, a, you know, a large number of millennials to a Sunday brunch, um, along with some special invited guests. So, you know, I don't know what to call them. Andre Ebony told me not to call y'all older fish, but um, boomers, the ballroom, experience. you know, the, silk, the boomer experienced people in ballroom, the mature crowd. And then we're also inviting some Gen X and Gen Z individuals who are not, but this is primarily focused on um, bringing ballroom millennial leaders together and, you know, figuring out how we can help um, explore the future of ballroom and what that's going to look like, our role in helping lead ballroom to the next level. So invites have gone out. If you haven't gotten one yet, be on the lookout. There's some second waves coming out, and um, we'll be sending out the invitations to the you know the more experienced people once we've confirmed all the millennials. 
So basically, once the other girls don't really RSVP like they should, then you can fill in with the older girls to make sure. <laughs> that well, we're already well as of like yesterday or well, last night, we were at like seventy. Oh, oh, Marcus, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, seventy Rod, invites. Seventy no, invites. Rodney, hold on, hold on one second, Marcus. Uh, Dante, just to be clear, uh, no, you you weren't in the first wave. You definitely are going to be when they send out to the season fish. Yeah. No, Dante would be a ballroom millennial. Girl. <laughs> would she? What do you mean? We're 30. We're in our 30s. We're the quintessential definition of... <laughs> the beginning. Correct. The beginning. <laughs> Baby. Baby. Well, J-Rock, you're a year older than me, but yeah. Baby, y'all, oh, y'all, closer y'all, to, y'all, y'all closer to overtime okay. than y'all are halftime. <laughs> Yes. Well, I as when you uh, as, as, don't want you as, as, one 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 look, as one of the individuals that on this call that looks like millennials, we'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> bitch, what you mean? You well, now? Oh, you better talk to them. I'm not play with me, bitch. Oh, because everybody was saying this. The ball is cash only. Cash only. I was nice in New York and took some cash apps and then got a few cash out ref- requests, refunds, and those were denied. So they messed that up for everybody. Please go to the ATM. The ball is $40 before five, $45 after. We'll see you at the ball. Please have cash. There's an ATM next door at the Sheridan and the Spring Hill and the uh, all those com- comfort suites and all of that and the gas station across the street. So Please go to the ATM before you arrive. The bar will take credit cards. Um, this is a really nice venue. They just had the Mary J. Blige after party there. This used to be Club Cameo in Charlotte where Drake threw up the $50,000. Um, they renovated it and turned it into a really nice space. So, um, yeah, come check it out. And we're there for both days. Ooh. Ooh. Mm-hmm. What's up, Romeo? Hey, Romeo. Y'all not giving me what y'all gave everybody else. I don't like nothing about it. Well, Mark, I mean, Mark, everybody else can. They said, okay, Marcus is here a, we go. They said, Marcus, you was a polish your ball thrower. We know what they like, give. That's what they give. We're, okay. We're getting a dark ceiling fit. We're getting a dark room and a ceiling fit. So, I mean, I kind of feel like. Un, un, feel un, like look, unlike, unlike everyone else, Marcus, unlike everyone else. Right. Well, I'm naked. Would y'all? Well, would y'all People like me to? to uh, would y'all like me to get Twilight naked? Zone. I'm actually naked. So, would y'all like me to like get on camera? No, no, no. Oh, okay. See that shape, boo. So, Marcus, yeah, who are the commentators for night one as, as opposed to night two? Are is the same? So, night one, we have the icon Jack, Gorgeous Gucci, and Snooky West, and night two. We have Deshaun Basquiat, or the icon Deshaun Basquiat, um, and Snooky. And I'm thinking about throwing a third person in there just to, you know, I'm just just to see. The second night we also have Why House with the most. Using my girl pressure. The second night we also have House with the most performance trophies for two thousand dollars, and tag team runways for one thousand dollars, and there's a few other five. We have Bazaar for 500 high fashion, streetwear for 500 you know, so, yeah. Hi, Rico Balenciaga, how are you? Hi, hi Rico. Hi, which, hi, hi which Rico Price, Balenciaga? Huh? Which which Rico? Y'all got three. Wait, yeah, wait, no, you wait, actually got four, four, don't y'all? We actually hey, James. Hey, James. It's Rico, Rico Revels. Oh, Rico. Hi, Rico Revels. <laughs> Actually, he was talking to the different regions of your nose. <gasps> oh. So, so can I make a second announcement too? February yes, 25th. February 25th, 2023 at the the Grady Cole Center. 
the fourth annual Southeast Awards Ball. The theme is the dopest homecoming on earth. Grand prize, how, excuse me, performance as a house for $4,000. And then the second category is $3,500. Mini grand, all-star state-to-state team realness. We're asking each state to bring their team of seven of the most realest people out on a homecoming theme. All of those categories will be out shortly. New York had me backed up, but it's coming out. But the girls are going to be fighting for their teams, baby. Yes. What's up, Dre? The captains will be doing the pick. Do you have team captains for that, or it's just whatever? Team team captains. I'm glad you said that. Um, James, Charlotte, and Grady Cole. Look, yeah, yeah, the return. That's right, little James, where you started off. Well, I guess we started off, but one of your biggest stages that you were on, your first biggest stages, the great return to Grady Cole Center, February Is that Charlotte trying to kill him? Yeah. No. That was the original move. But they tried to kill him. What you talking about? Yeah, they oh, tried to Jack, kill him. They tried when, to... when Jack made him battle with no breaks. Yeah, but not that. that. No, 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 no. That was pandemonium. That was in 2014. No, this was like 2007, 2008. Little James. Original. He said, "Dia." Like that. He said, "Dia," when he got chopped. Well, yeah. Thank you for saying it. That made it easier for me. The original <laughs> move. No, he said it himself. He said it himself. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then when they had to do the original move, gotcha. The original move, yeah. James, don't bring that up, child. They'll be sitting here saying, child, you know she was getting shot back in 2011. <laughs> no. He definitely made it really close. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was that should be really interesting. That, was that should be really show. interesting. You should have told her last week. <clears throat> Oh, that's she didn't post on our page. Oh. Obviously not. I don't see him coming for you, Arnold. No, he's congratulating Arnold. Arnold paying it. Oh, she must be on the call. We don't hear you, Arnold. Arnold, you were muted from when you were making your plane reservations. I, I didn't hear what you said. I'm sorry. The so peanut with congratulations. congratulations. Your Hall of Fame. Thanks, Peanut. Thank you. Hey, Reese. Oh my God. At least I found some. Right. Okay. I was waiting for somebody to say it. That's okay. Pe- peanut can come anytime he's like. Come on. He can come oh. over here anytime he's like. <laughs> Dear Miss J Rock, did he did he fix that up real fast? I did. did he I did. Come, yeah. <laughs> well, speak of fixing up real fast, Arnold. Um, after all that pressure the West Coast gave, there's no openness ball this year. No, there's no openness ball. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, child, there wasn't no Gulf Coast Awards ball either. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's in December. I think it's it in is December, one, isn't it? J Rock. It's, it's in December now. No, I, mm-hmm. I know. Um, yeah, I got a lot of shit going on in December. No shade. Baby. Oh, yeah. Man. It's giving back to and back because, to back to back. And if you are if you want the calendar no, for the Ra- Southie. No, Tyra, you tried it. You already tried it. You know, that look, the little couple thousand dollars going to your head. I see what's going on here. Right. <laughs> November 4th, Jalisa, uh, Ebony's having a ball in uh, Norfolk, Virginia, the COVID ball. Then you have the 19th, the Florida Awards ball. November 20th, the Trans Awareness ball, both in Orlando during the Classic Weekend. Then you have December 10th, Trent and Malaysia's ball in Columbia, South Carolina. And the oh last ball God. of the year in the Southeast is Vito, the icon Vito, presents Last Time to Shine in Atlanta. And that wraps up the Southeast. So um, 
go go walk some miles. In the Midwest, um, we have um, Tracy Balmain and Courtney Gorgeous Gucci uh, presents the Chicago Awards Ball December seventeenth. Let them know, Rodney. Or the bear. Is it the seventeenth? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah, seventeenth. Is that a Saturday? I think so. It is yeah. a Saturday, December seventeenth. Oh, yep, that's yeah. right. <laughs> with, with, Cor- with Courtney. Yes, Courtney and Tracy. I know it's December ninth. No, December tenth would be a Saturday. The December seventeenth. So it's the third, the tenth, and the seventeenth. I don't. I don't know what this whole set means. That's on the wrong day. Uh-uh. I mean, I ain't gonna even tell you tell y'all who sent me the wrong date. <laughs> but, <laughs> I was gonna get you see it now. Um, oh, I ain't for it. Oh, Tom sent you the wrong date. No. Um, all right. So Marcus has updated us on all the balls in the southeast. Um, we have been um, over the people's crimes of century, people's choice, double jeopardy. Um, we covered Piggy Rodale's a ball. We covered seventeen pair. December seventeenth is correct. Piggy Rodale, no, I'm sorry. Piggy Revlon's ball. I'm sorry. Uh, we covered um, uh, Tabo Katrina Ebony, Tabo Ninja right. Katrina Ebony ball in Orlando. Sean Pond's ball. We covered um, Nick Deck West and Tamar's ball in Toronto. So, yeah. No Trent or Malaysia, her. No Trent or Malaysia. Well, well, Trent has to be at work at like. Trent gets up at like four thirty, five o'clock for work. So, I mean, I'm here. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> it's your Ooh. show, though. <laughs> <laughs> so he could have showed the decency to come up here and be with me. <laughs> He'll be here next week. Y'all won't get him too much. <sighs> Yes, but yes, mm. definitely. Uh, Ghetto right. uh, Christmas. Uh, Sebastian, hosted by Trent. Um, Sebastian Seller okay. will be having the ball in Detroit. Um, and where's AJ Arnold? Um, you, you didn't you tag AJ? I did. Oh, it has nothing to do with me. I'm not so, so, so you were going to talk about Sebastian's ball, but not AJ. I was just saying Sebastian is having the ball also. Um, uh, the weekend right after Trent, the same weekend as Trent Malaysia's ball, but their ball is on Sun Saturday. Saturday his ball is on Sunday in Detroit. Um, oh, okay, come on. You gonna be away, flying out from Columbia? Yeah, I think he's giving away ten thousand um, dollars total that that week that night. Um, I think it's only gonna be like <clears throat> it's, they're gonna be spread out, but I think it's like ten major categories. But I think that you know each division of them are spread out but um it okay. should be a pretty thing and um, um so arnold you're flying from columbia to detroit that sunday um probably probably yeah i think columbia. me and snooki okay. will be flying out at the same time snooki's gonna be commentating oh. that ball as well it's a non-stop from columbia to detroit surprisingly oh okay on delta mm-hmm the cozy ball, the cozy ball held by the House of West and the House of Garçon. Is that a, a ball as well happening in Detroit? And then Monica Delcour is having a ball in Detroit. Don't know what date that is. It's a lot going on. Yeah, quite a bit. And Harry. Harry, going to Capitol. You want our capital date? I'm waiting to contract with the venue. I'm not going wow. to feel like everybody else throw dates out there. Who is everybody else? <laughs> Don't do J Rock like that. 
Marcus, we, we're basically focusing on this year, 22, but, you know, you are our special um, guest that you can, you know, you are, you are the promoter to the stars. You are the icon <laughs> with no star, look, with no star, with no, with no, with no, with no, with no plaque. No, you don't girl, want she it. Said, she said, she said, give her hers, child. You want it? You want it now, Marcus? No, thank you. Just everybody come to the ball and and don't and and don't try to use their name at the door. That's 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 what that's what I've had. Ah, uh, he talking about no, thank you. He say support you by supporting you. Well, I'm always using my name at the door, so. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am, hold on. Well, well, let, let me make this very clear. This year, um. There's no names at the door. Everything is ticket. So if you don't get an email or you don't come with a ticket uh, for the judges list, then you knew you weren't on the guest list. Um, so some of y'all can check y'all emails when I get to, when I send it to y'all. <laughs> check your emails. When is that? Aren't we just doing? Aren't we just doing the rest of this year, right now? Why are the folks so? Well, you didn't. Now? But see, Arnold, you didn't hear the message was in the details. You didn't hear what he said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's saying what I told him to say five years ago, and I feel like he owed me a check for that. Okay, you talking to uh, Dante, obviously. No, no. No, no, no. I'll say it because he ain't sponsoring me. He don't care if Kirk Myers back out or not. They're going to have the ball June 11. Well, that's not, well, let's, not be, let's not try to be, let's not try to buck up, J-Rod. That's not everything that went on in the meeting. Now, don't act like you're Ooh. trying to buck Ooh. up now. There was a lot of stuff Ooh. in the meetings that you're not saying. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I'm saying you was what Marcus is saying something else, and I'm saying that that wasn't a comment in the meeting. Get out, Jerry. You know <laughs> you talk about okay. Arnold, you talk about the monkey you talk about the monkey pox excuse? Yes. All of that. All of that. <laughs> okay. Ronnie is Ronnie, is that your excuse. is that your is that your line for the five thousand? Oh no no. Not at all. J-Rock said, we getting fucked up tonight. <laughs> Yeah. 
I don't see how y'all could do all that. Hold on, y'all. It's so water in Dallas. In Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, wait, hold on. You should know. Stay right in the Navy. Stay right in the Navy. You should know Navy, bitch. You should know where all the water is. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> hold on, but J Rock, for real, for real, is it a yacht or is it a boat? Because I don't know if a yacht can fit in a in a in a river or a lake. So the question First is, it is it really a city. yacht? Now it's bigger than our cities. I don't live in DC. J Rock, it's a it's a yacht. <laughs> I don't live I don't live in Suitland. I don't live in Suitland, sorry. Haven't haven't lived in Suitland in decades. No, no he don't he doesn't live in it. No, I don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> We getting fucked up tonight. Of course. Yeah, you know the cause of that. Well, you should know the cause of that. You know that. You know the cause of that. You should know the cause of that. Rehashing, rehashing, J Rock, rehashing. Right. Look. Rodney, J Rock, J Rock, J Rock, you know the front of the house real well, don't you? And the brush, <laughs> the brush, the brush in the area. <laughs> Mother works Folks, up here. Well, we're gonna wrap this up getting late. Rodney has to get up for work. I have to get up for work. J-Rock has to get to um, the store with the seniors in the morning before they let everybody else in. Hold on. Don't disrespect me. Marcus has to get up for work. I'm off Marcus. tomorrow. Look, look. Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. Marcus, you know Marcus, you know Harold don't respect the direct point. That's why he ain't never say nothing about us. Well, I'm not no drag queen, and hold on. We've been at, we've been at, I've acknowledged the drags all night. You the one got and, on and, here, and you just tried, you just tried to make something out of nothing, like very, like, we, we, we never uh, even talk about when Taboo was on here, and you was like, no, 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 y'all not going, and ain't nobody say nothing. <laughs> I didn't even say that. that. I didn't even and I, say that. Did. And I, I didn't even no, say nobody that. Nobody had said a word. And you was like, no, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. When I was like, congratulations, Taboo. And y'all was like, oh. I said, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. You can't. I don't know if it was. I think it was. Ar talking. No, I think it was either no, Arnold being very uneloquent. No, no, no. And or, or, or. To get this venue, this venue and this funding. And nobody had said a word. Jay Rock, help me out here. She was being messy. No, she was being she messy, got, but we paid. She, she, got PT, she got PTSD from some of them other panels she been on. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, I do. I really do. I really do. Help me, please. Help me. Help me, Lord. Now, yeah. and my heart, now yeah, Maharia, yeah, you. Me, I'm gonna help you. Let me get your account. Let me get your account banned. That'll help. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rod. Um, J Rock, just one last question. Will the Paris be coming out for the five? No. Sure, speak I will her. hope so. Um, but like last time she was supposed to get a wig for me. I will hope she hit me for up you? for a motherfucking <laughs> bundles of the bundles so she could be the goddess with the black. How's hair. she doing, J Rock? How is she? <laughs> just get a hair from you. She just got a new job, Arnold. Okay. Oh.
Hold on, don't, hold on. Don't come for my brother. Wait, don't wait, come for my wait, brother. Wait, don't come for my brother. Wait, he still he said y'all yeah, back up his mug. Um. If you're a black man, <laughs> well, 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 J Rock. Speaking of that, the 5K drag performance is at 10 p.m. At 10 p.m., we're going to the category. Make Jason, sure that they're Jason, ready. Jason, uh, J Rock said you're J Rock coming Jason. from the. I mean, uh, the pair is coming from the roof, baby. Okay. Well. <laughs> Um, um, I didn't even say mama. that, but that's the new on. one. That's the new one. I like that. That's the new one. I Miss like mama. that. Miss Mama, not too much to my horrible. Okay? You will not be attacking my horrible for the Seattle. I got, I got father network. I got bitch, some <laughs> nigga network, bitch, all type of shit. But me horrible, that's sick, man. I like that. <laughs> me horrible is the key, man. Hey. Look at right. her. Look, look, look around. Hey, Rodney, I got you. Before we wrap up. Wait, what happened? Marcus. I'm being summoned. Yeah, bye. Thank you. Bye. See you later. Um, All, right. All right. Have a good day. Yeah, that's, that's how to bring that walkie talkie back. Words before you go, J Rock. All right, never mind. Thank you. All right, any parting words before you go? Um, Dante, when you, when we start talking about sports, you left us. Um, we're not gonna do it tonight because we're about to end, but definitely next Tuesday we'll definitely be on doing the either since we do it on Tuesday, um, MCM or uh, WCW. You have um, no, it's gonna be MCM and WCW. Oh, and we're gonna do and. Oh, okay. Two times to not fair. Y'all should do gender non-conforming too, because they want equality. <laughs> I'm just saying. It starts with the it starts with the iconic Hall of Famer. Oh, so figure it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For those promoters that um, didn't yes, get a chance to come back on Tuesdays. Um.